Hello everyone, this video will be about Morbus Scheuermann, which is also known as juvenile kyphosis. So what is Scheuermann's disease? To sum it up shortly, it is a growth-related disorder that affects the spine. Over time, this growth defect will lead to hyperkyphosis of the spine. More specifically, what happens is that the posterior part grows faster than the anterior side. This abnormal growth leads to the spine being curved more forward since the posterior part grows more. This fast growth of the posterior side also leads to a distinct shape. When viewed from the side, normal vertebrae has a rectangular shape, but in Scheuermann's disease, the vertebrae becomes more wedge-shaped. Another really important point to know is that the disease typically starts in the early years of puberty. If a teenager presents with newly developed hyperkyphosis, then you should always consider Scheuermann's disease. And now to the symptoms. As you can expect, the main symptom of the disease is hyperkyphosis, which give a more rounded appearance of the upper back. There is at the same time often also compensatory lordosis of the lumbar region. Pain is unfortunately not a good symptom to look for in this disease. Uh, the disease can cause pain in the thoracic and or the lumbar region of the back, but many patients are pain-free. Not diagnostic itself, but the diagnosis starts always with suspicion, and Scheuermann's disease should always be considered in teenagers that have developed hyperkyphosis. A radiographic image, which can either be an X-ray, CT or MRI, is needed to diagnose. If you can see at least three continuous vertebrae with a wedge shape, then you can diagnose the Morbus Scheuermann's disease. As an example, the x-ray to the right here shows exactly three neighboring vertebrae with a wedge shape. The wedge is not extremely pronounced, but it's definitely there. Luckily, Morbus Scheuermann is not the end of your life. In fact, most people have so few or mild symptoms that they don't require any treatment at all. The first thing you do, and a common thing to do anyways, is to educate the patients in physical therapy. This involves making the patients perform specific stretching exercises to counteract, to counteract the kyphosis. If the kyphosis is over 60 degrees, which can be calculated using the Cobb's angle, you can always consider using a stretcher. What you do is using a back stretcher that you walk around with during the day. Very, very rarely, spinal fusion surgery can be performed. This is reserved for only the most severe patients and to be considered for the surgery, you have to have either a kyphosis with an angle of over 75 degrees, severe pain in the back, or neurological symptoms that comes from compression of the spinal cord. Thank you for watching. I hope it has been educational. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Cheers.